Hi, Sparkles of Light. It's Cherry Enchantress, and this is your daily dust for Wednesday, March 13th, if you're watching in real time, but it can also be for whenever you stumble upon it, you can treat it like a timeless reading. I am in a little fairy oracle series. I have a lot of them. This one, is, and you know, they're spelt differently. So fairy with an I, fairy with an E, fairies with an E, fair, you know, so so many different versions. This one is The Wild Wisdom of the Fairy Oracle by Lucy Cavendish and the artwork by Selena Fennick. And it's one of my favorites. I love Selena Fennick's artwork and Lucy Cavendish is a great oracle designer. And it's very pretty with the purples. I would love to have like a, just a tarot like this one because this is kind of my way my vision of fairies more or less <laughs> so my fairy tarot i think it's going to be similar but a little bit more graphic not as realistic but we'll see <laughs> we'll see how how it goes okay so let me give it a good shuffle and then i'm going to pick three cards from the middle this one I trimmed myself and I edged it in silver, but you can't really tell anymore. It does have a little shimmer, just a little, not much. Let's see what we get. We have the Grail Fairy. It's like that holy cup, the cup of love. And Glimpse. Glimpse always comes out when my son's around because he's an indigo child. And catch me, trust, surrender, leap of faith into the unknown. So we have fertility, the return of life, health, life cycles, indigo, rainbow, crystal children, and beyond. And catch me, trust, surrender, leap of faith into the unknown. That's it. That's all I'm going to say. No, I'm going to say a lot more. Let's zoom on in and see what else we get. So the Grail Fairy is all about fertility, the return of life, health, and life cycles. It could be that maybe you felt as though your life was not being, been flowing very well, or there's been like this feeling of stuckness in your days. But guess what? No longer. As you see, this beautiful fairy is bathing in the pool of moon and holding up her magical chalice of life to collect the enchanted waters, which will soon be raining on you, <laughs> blessing you with their cleansing and powerful healing properties. With this water, she will not only bless you, but your dreams and wishes will also come true. And anybody who wants to have babies and crops and like birth of new ideas and projects and things she will sprinkle on them what seems to be um like it feels kind of like after the winter how you're you may have a bush or a tree or something you're like oh no is is this tree going to come back you know it's i see other things blooming but what's what's going to happen to my tree and then suddenly bling the little new buds of the tree come back um, this also represents the mother, maiden, and crone. All are sacred, and they're all a part of every woman. And the chalice is about um, preserving and where life begins, the, the giving waters. And also this fairy blesses us with <laughs> this water with by giving us creative ideas and babies and artworks and dreams and loving partnerships and that feeling of being cleansed and renewed. This could also represent like all kinds of women's health issues being resolved, things about your body being cared for and healed. Um, this could have something to do with moon cycles too and how our bodies connect with that and, and how we get in tuned with that with with the different cycles of our bodies this could be just plain serenity this could also be your female beauty like you going through a glow up period on this day maybe just feeling very glowy and pretty um and so it's just a it's a just a kind of a, a effervescent feeling like a new life energy 
Also, by the way, side note, to drink more water too. <laughs> Maybe you also have a special cup that you like that you put your drinks in. Maybe you'll have a special jug or mug or something that you carry around with you. That's really cool too. Like, and and you might get creative and try different um, mixtures and concoctions, um, smoothies, and all kinds of stuff that have to do with liquids that may make you feel good on this day. So glimpse is about your children or somebody's children. It doesn't have to be a young child. It could be an adult child. It could be you, in fact. It could be you are this indigo child that's grown up now. <laughs> this is also uh, the word rainbow is here. <laughs> so indigo, rainbow, and crystal children. There are all kinds of children out there. Indigo are like kind of the the ones that uh, have the deeper and more intense thoughts closer to the shadow energy. Rainbow children are kind of like the miracle children. And crystal children are just beautiful, bright, full of light, you know. So this particular fairy is a scout. And he's looking through the port land, port borderlands into the human world. Maybe he, there is a port here somehow. Maybe. So keep a lookout for this 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 fairy is keeping a lookout and maybe it's suggesting that you keep a lookout too he's keeping a lookout for opportunities to glimpse people have the magics about them new generations are coming say the fairy wise ones and he is so willing to share and learn from and with them in truth of course we are all magical but there are also children and young adults around today who are more open and ready than generations preceding them the fairies seek these beings so they can establish connections with them. The, these new children are easy to recognize if you know the signs to look for. Sometimes called indigos, these children are peaceful warriors and activists with deep love of nature. They're highly sensitive and can discern very easily whether people are telling the truth or trying to fool them. Some feel they are an evolutionary leap into what we humans are becoming. As this fairy and he may say that the children he is looking out for are simply aware of who they truly are. Other older magical ones are more scared. They have had years of being told they are not normal. So this fairy watches for them too. So they can be communicated with clearly and told that they are not mad but clear, able to hear and see. These beings will return from this meeting with the scout with a vastly expanded sense of all that is, and they will return from the meeting vastly more connected to their own spiritual truths. They will believe their intuition after this meeting, and they will know when they are being told the truth and when they are being lied to, just as they always have, but they will no longer be filled with self-doubt. And if this resonates with you, it could be that you were... You were when you were younger, you just felt a little different. You felt a little more in tune with the world. Maybe you're, you're an empath. And now you're starting to realize that these have actually been gifts all along. And you can put them into use by, by using your intuition to help you through your daily life. Also, you could be uh, connected with somebody who's like this. And now you're discovering this about them. Or you are, your, your horizons are broadening and what you once thought was something that was not normal about a friend or a sibling or um or a child adult or young um that now you see that there's it's just more they're just more of a spiritual type they're more of an empath they're they're they have heightened senses maybe then and and that's what what makes them a little bit different but in general, some of the things that you can do to help yourself here um, is is to take good care of yourself. Um, try to to avoid fast food and accepting authorities' messages simply because they're in charge. Like I feel like a, a lot of young people do this, and old people too. But whenever you like you're watching anything social media of any sort youtube or otherwise tiktok whatever it is certainly certain things are resonate with you it's like oh it sounds like the truth and yeah you're nodding your head when this person's saying something so you take it for the truth it only sounds and it sounds good to you because it if it resonates with you it, it feels like it's connecting to you but it not necessarily always means that it's the truth there's truth behind it it could be just simply because 
there is that algorithm that has learned who you are. And that's the new kind of uh, side thing that happens on, on the social media these days. It's, it's something that we're discovering. Um, and it has to do with advertising and all all other kinds of ways to get to make us consumers that consume the things that people want to sell and want to make money on, and so they they reach out and they they figure out they learn us you know they as in the algorithm the robots the 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 people who put the programs into place but the program is the is sort of like this artificial intelligence that's learning us so there's a whole thing out there now that's i mean it's been around for a while but it's really starting to kind of peak a little bit be just really aware like if you if you're feeling good about a certain message you're like yeah that's what i feel about that then maybe it's important to research it and one and and look into it a little bit further like this person may not even be saying anything that's the truth go find out you know find out in the legitimate sources of what's truth and what's not truth instead of just going with some random person saying something there's this commercial that really bothers me and i mean it feels so convoluted but it does have to do with diet and health and it really it frustrates me that um mixed messages are sent so much about diet and health but there are some real legitimate things that you can do for yourself out there and it's it's really like really tapping into your body and getting to know yourself to know what you need for who you are you and you're different from everybody else and so what works for one person may not work for you so remember that too when you're working with your own body and your own and anything that's your go that's going on in your life you know also like if there's something that is important to you uh, politically, like in a change in your life that would make your life better, like really research like how, who and how that could come about, like instead of just taking for, you know, just taking at face value other people's opinions about things, like do the research. That's kind of what I'm feeling like with the glimpse, um, the, like a little side note is like don't take just everything at face value definitely go into it a little bit and do the research because so much is being altered and manipulated and um, targeted and you know like there's just you can feel almost feel the manipulation in the air and so take that into consideration whenever you're making your choices and decisions and and following someone or something and stamping something with the you know your steel of approval it may not be all that you think it is you know I'm not saying um you know, not saying enjoy enter the entertainment out there that's out there, but also give yourself um, plenty of uh, leeway to 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 be skeptical, to to you know to think it through, to to research it. That's kind of the the to me the sh the indigo child is like that. The indigo child is kind of if that way is that way. They don't they. They see the truth. They know when they're being played. When they know when the somebody is come, you know, saying something that they just want to hear. And so maybe that's kind of the message the fairy has to give to you. Like, you know, um, lean into that a little bit more on this day. Don't just go with something that somebody's telling you that sounds good to you. <laughs> and then, but then on the alternately, you know trust your intuition because your intuition will really guide you here always and it can be very tricky i know but trust your intuition there's there's three parts of your body that you can really tap into your intuition and, and the crown chakra is like downloads from higher energy you know your third eye is like your clairvoyance like actually seeing what what is what is the truth which can sometimes play little tricks sometimes. But gut feeling is kind of good too because it's it's the primal place. But a lot of people have made choices with their gut and have been wrong. So so just remember those are you know, you, you have to use those judiciously. You have to really, you know, go with those things, but add that extra level of intellect, research, logic, 
clarity too on top of all those things because because really the places are we that we are being targeted is sometimes our emotions and our gut feelings about things and we just think that's it you know that's a clear cognizance our guts are telling us but it's not necessarily always the case so <laughs> so there's still those times where you're just going to have to take a leap of faith right into the unknown after even if you've done plenty of research and you're still not 100 percent sure then you just have to do it you know at least you have a arsenal of information you know behind you and just like jump in you know head first feet first or whatever <laughs> This fairy woman has no discernible wings, yet without them she still knows she will fly. She is trusting and moving forward, and although all around her are panicking and wanting to, her to stay where it seems to be safe, she has faith, and she will be supported. And this card denotes the creation of wise, surrendered self, often, often birthed through some kind of crisis. She is the newly created being, and her energy is innocent, unworldly, trusting, and therefore extremely powerful, potent, and magical. This being is completely trusting. She is fully focused on listening to and following her inner voice. She has no worldly protection. Her arms are outstretched and she knows no fear as she walks off the edge. Her self-belief in this remarkable situation is not pride for she's focused on going ahead. This is the greatest leap into the unknown, the leap of faith we so often speak of. And she may seem to have nothing but faith, but in truth, her repository of instinctual knowledge, and that's what I'm talking about. This is all about your repository of instinctual knowledge. It's not just leaping without get, getting the information force first. It is having all of the information. And it's held within her magical, miraculous self. The storm clouds have gathered about her, but she's unafraid. Or rather, she's gone past fear and into acceptance. She knows that what will be will be and that to walk forward is to create an immense possibility of miraculous healing and a profound shift she is the divine embodiment of trust which is the first step to faith well second step to faith trust and pixie dust first you have the faith believing in something without seeing it trust is surrendering to the universe it's it's that not micromanaging spirit and telling it every step of the way it's letting go and knowing spirits got your back so this is about taking great chance, chances and that cat you know that in turn allows us to connect with our spirituality catch me embodies the lessons of faith in our own soul renewal it symbolizes courageous courageous leap of faith and that trust in your intuition and so it's kind of a what will be will be come what may you just have to do it it's you can't vacillate back and forth anymore you've got the information you need now just do it you know it's the nike logo just do it but still it is like there are days like this and we've been having kind of a week like this this kind of courageous sleep week <laughs> So take a chance that others may seem risky, especially when people are telling you, no, 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 don't do it. You shouldn't do that. It's probably because you should. And um, and there and I feel like you have a divine time happening today. Um, it could also be. Uh, it could be just. It just could be today is the day you take a little bit of a risk, you know, and or leaving a job that. Others may see as a safe job, but you're like, nope, I want to be different and creative. Um, you know, it's kind of funny. Today we decided on, I did music today in, in, in my choir, and we decided more on the risky, <laughs> this risky song, the unusual song, because it felt like something that would be, that would help us stand out to make us, it would, it's joyful, it's funny, it's cute, it's different, and that's the one we chose. And so I feel like maybe some kind of choice like that's happening for you today on the very mundane level, just kind of a more of a whimsical, more of a, a weird choice possibly today. <laughs> yeah, because we've got the, the Indigo Kids and so if, like tapping into your youthful spirit as well and catch me is a, a lot like the the fool in the tarot and it's like the beginning of something so all this whole thing is about beginning something new and trying something different and 
tapping into your you know your authentic self and don't let anybody else say anything to you or if they are going to say something to you then it's usually you should be doing the opposite of them telling you don't do that i mean all kinds of brave things that you can do and at first it'll feel it may feel a lot like what the heck did i get myself into but if you keep going you're gonna i think you're gonna definitely find success so enjoy <laughs> i hope you like that faith just a pixie dust <laughs>